Okay guys, so today we are going to use the High Tech Diamond 6 inch slab saw and cut some fire agates. Uh, I'm just going to pick them up real quick and just show you what they look like rough. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some fire in here in this dark area, in this dark vein right here. This piece right here, I really like this area, so I'll probably cut right here first to preserve this little betrayal goodiness right here. And then uh, may cut here or there um, for this piece. But uh, all of this material I purchased from John Cook over on Facebook for, with the Family Stones. So highly go, I highly recommend you guys go over there if you are on Facebook and check out what they have to offer. And this is another piece of fire agate. And this material right here is fire agate from Mexico. Um, not Arizona. This one's particular, particular, particularly cool because of this area right here. Um, so my plan with this one is I want to save this little chunk right here because again, nice little petroidals. Um, so what I'll probably do is just cut straight across here to open up this little area right here and then see what it, checks, what it looks like and then maybe cut this little piece off. But uh, yeah. And that's not fire agate. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there. Uh, so that off to the side. But let's go ahead, turn this uh, bad boy on, and get cutting. So I just realized it was not recording uh, this entire time. So uh, the first one we cut open was this one. And the one we just finished is this one. And that's what it looks like. Still very beautiful. And we're gonna cut open that third one real quick. Okay, so we're gonna try and go in order from the order that I cut um, from one to three. Um, again, sorry for not pressing the film button um, when I first started cutting. That was a my bad. Um, but uh, the first fire agate is this one right here. Um, so this is cleaned up and dry. In a minute, I will dip it in water so you can see more of the detail. So this one right here is from, um, this one is from Arizona. Um, so uh, there's the inside. Let me dip it in water real quick with water on it. 
I'm going to use a flashlight because that's the only way to really see some of the detail. If I can, there we go. So you can see all the agate banding in there, very beautiful. You can see, you can see some quartz structure right there that I cut, that I cut through. Very beautiful. The fire, you can see a little bit of fire right there. Little bitty tiny petroidals. And uh, so I believe the fire is mainly going to be in this dark orange burgundy um, area. I'm going to probably, probably cut these up a little bit more, but more this direction to get some of the petroidals in the face of the slab. Uh, that's the first piece, or the first half of the first piece. The next half is right here. Again, very beautiful structure and the bands. I may actually just cut a slab out of this because that's really, it's really beautiful right there. Almost looks like a landscape if you guys see what I'm talking about. But uh, again, you can see the fire petroidals right there in the edge of my thumb. Uh, that is the first piece. So the next piece is this one right here. And the next two are from uh, the fire agate is from uh, Mexico. Uh, so the quartz and agate structure, both again very beautiful. One of the unique things I like about this piece is you got some nice uh, fire petroidals running through there, and you have this nice little pocket right here. Um, so cutting it in half re revealed this, and I cut it pretty much exactly where I was wanting to because I was wanting to open this up so it's like a nice little base. Um, I'll probably clean that up a little bit more with some iron out um, to get that yellow off the white there but for the most part it's really beautiful. And then here's this one and yes there is fire in there and you will see it in just a moment. But look at those petroidals there. Super beautiful. You can already kind of see the fire in there. So let's get this piece wet, this half wet. Very cool. Now the other side. You can see those fire nuggets in there. You see them? Let's see if I can get a flash on there. It's really hard to pick up that sheen reflection because these are not polished. I was planning on having these polished, but I ran out of time um, for this video, so I will post a follow up video later on, uh, like a shorts video, just kind of showing what they look like all polished up. And then uh, right here with all these layers, again, that would be fire if I were to cut it horizontal through there and polish it. But you see, you guys see what I'm seeing? Like really nice, deep color in there. So that's the first half. The other half, I don't really need to get the entire thing wet because... Uh, it's not a whole lot going on on the outside. It looks better dry, but the um, wet side over here. Again, there is a little, little bitty tiny betroidal, fire betroidals in there. And that, uh, let's see if I can get y'all to see that without it being polished. That's probably the best I can do. And then you can see that sheen in there. Very beautiful piece. Now this next piece, I don't even know how to, I cut it up so many times. 
I'm not even sure how to put it back together. So there's this piece right here. This is one half. Again, there's a lot of beautiful dark burgundy orange tones in there in that area. Again, this is dry. And my goal was was to slice right through that vein, which is what I did. Um, so let's see. Okay, put this back together how it was. So that was like that, with the piece in between, and that was like that. So you can see I cut right into that vein, and what I got was absolutely beautiful. So here is those the inside of those pieces. I'm going to get these wet real quick, and then I'll save the best for last. So the first half, I mean, you can see those nice fires right there. Look at that. I saved this one because I like exa I like it exactly how it is. Where's my flashlight go? This piece I'll just polish up and be a shelf piece. Look at the banding there. So beautiful. Okay, so the next, the other side of that piece is this half. I'm probably going to be cutting back into this vein area right here because I want to get more of what I already found. There is the other side. So beautiful. And then the smaller half. this piece. Now I'm going to show you the next piece that goes onto this and both these next pieces are on um, topping six because I'm in the process of polishing. Um, you can see little bitty fire betroidals in there. So the first piece is this one. I'm currently on stage uh, like 200 on the flat lap, but you can see all those nice fire betroidals flashes in there. That chocolatiness. It's really hard to get it to like the, get the camera to pick it up. But uh, this will be a beautiful cab whenever I'm finished with it. There's that one. And the next and final piece is my absolutely favorite. I'm going to show it to you all dry first. Is this one. I'm leaving uh, the raw betroidals right there just because I really like the look of it. But you can tell how dark and deep, uh, like chocolatey brown, that, that is. Now I'm going to get it wet for you guys. So there you go, and then if I can get the light well just right, all of those, all that fire just like highlights. But I'm not sure if I can pick it up. But you can kind of see it right there. But this thing is just littered with fire. I love that blue calcine mixed with the quartz there. Super cool. But man, I can't wait to get this thing polished up. And I will be doing a shorts video on this whenever it's complete. I just can't get it to like flash properly on the camera. 
but uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If so, please like it, share this with your friends and family on social media. If you guys are interested in high tech diamond, highly recommend check out the affiliate link in the description. They sell uh, the flat laps, angle uh, uh, angle laps, slab saws, etc. Um, if you use my affiliate link, I get a small uh, commission um, from y'all using it, and y'all can always use the code RHA for 10% off on all accessories, excluding machines, uh, gift cards, and extended warranties. And uh, also make sure you guys check out the Rockham podcast. Make sure to go check out Sweet Jim's channel. I'll have a link also in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and rock on.